Hello. For the next couple of minutes, I just want to talk about rough endoplasmic reticulum. I'm not going to write it all out. You can look it up. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is the component of a cell that is responsible for the synthesis of proteins. Now, as we all know, the nucleus of the cell contains DNA. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Let's start with the D, shall we? DNA. And that DNA is coded to produce the proteins of a cell. So we need to get the information from the DNA, transport it, that information, so that is an info flow. The DNA itself never moves from the nucleus. The information of the DNA has to go to the rough endoplasmic reticulum where it will actually produce the protein. So the role, you can see what the role of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is, is to translate information based on what the nucleus has to translate that information to the actual protein. So how does that happen and how does it work? Well, first of all, let's have a look at a diagram here just to give us some ideas first. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is usually written as rough R-E-R -E -R, like this. That's a very common uh, way it's written. And if you look at the electron micrograph below, and please, if you're not used to looking at electron micrographs, there is a separate video to talk about that. Have a look at it. Up in the top corner here is the nucleus. You can see it by this amorphous dark looking material, which is the DNA. The nucleus is surrounded by a membrane. In fact, it's a double membrane. And the outer membrane is actually continuous with this, this thing that you can see running all the way through here which is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and why is it called rough well if you look closely at this you can see it's got all these dots on it these millions and millions of little dots on the surface of the membrane as it's folded on the outside of this nucleus here those little dots the dots are ribosomes and they are the critical component of rough endoplasmic reticulum that actually takes the information and translates that information into protein within the nucleus itself information is stored as in the DNA but what happens to that is it's translated But what happens to that is it's transcribed to messenger RNA. And that messenger RNA is what moves out into the rough endoplasmic reticulum and it attaches itself to a ribosome. And here's a high resolution diagram to show exactly that. You can see the ribosome here Ribosomes are actually built in two parts and welded together. They are actually proteins themselves. But what you want to look at here is you can actually see the messenger RNA diagrammatically running through the middle of the ribosome. And that messenger RNA has on it coding bases. And each triplet of bases is the code for a single amino acid. And that code, when it's read by the rough when it's read by the ribosome, it then adds the appropriate amino acid to continuously build the chain of amino acids. Now just so you can see here, the chain keeps attached to the ribosome here. And then as it grows, the loop just gets longer. But you can see it running, see it just there running out into the ribosome. And this is where the next amino acid will be added. 
and then the chain will be pushed through and then another one will be added and the chain will be pushed through. So this is how the ribosome constructs the protein. The other important thing to notice in this picture is these ribosomes are attached to the membrane of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And you notice that the protein is going to end up on the inside of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And that's a very important step. So let's go on and draw that. So if we drew that, we can draw, here's the membrane of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. There's our ribosome sitting there. And here's our protein growing on the inside surface. There it is looping around there. And it is growing because the ribosome is reading the messenger RNA. Oh dear, I keep doing that, don't I? Messenger RNA. And at the end of the day, this protein that is going to be formed is not complete yet because proteins not only are a sequence of amino acids in a row, but they are a sequence of amino acids in a row that, are, that have confirmation. They have a three-dimensional arrangement that makes them work. So part of what happens inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum is that the amino acid sequence is actually modified. Sometimes some are taken off or it's cut and rebound together. And also, the sequence is starting to be arranged in the appropriate arrangement. At the end of its, its changes within the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the protein is pushed, well, is moved into a vesicle, and that vesicle completed, has little labels on it, and the vesicle will be transported to another part of the cell where other changes may be made to this protein, or it may be moved out of the cell. The usual pathway is to head these vesicles to the Golgi apparatus. I'm just going to do the Golgi apparatus like this. And the Golgi apparatus undertakes more changes to the protein and then repackages that protein with new labels on it to transport it to its appropriate location to become an active protein in the cell. Now remember, it may be that it is transported to the outer cell membrane and it may be a protein that's embedded in the cell membrane to be a transport protein or a label on the cell or something, but it may also be a protein that is then pushed out of the cell to become free-floating in the intercellular fluid to then take an active role outside the cell. So in summary, rough endoplasmic reticulum is immediately adjacent to the nucleus covered in ribosomes. Those ribosomes are responsible for the translation of messenger RNA to a protein. And inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum, there are changes that occur to the conformational structure of that newly formed protein before it is packaged up in a vesicle and transported usually to the Golgi apparatus.